This video will briefly introduce hybrid TM, T cylindrical leaky waves, electromagnetic radiation at broadside from radially periodic structures. The relevant work can be found in IEEE transactions on antennas and propagation. If properly excited, broadside radiation can be excited by means of a horizontal magnetic dipole, but the dispersion of the linearized structure only predicts a TM wave. On the other hand, Based on cylindrical leaky wave theory, only a TM wave cannot support broadside radiation, thus creating a sort of paradox of the radiation mechanism in radially periodic structures. To understand the reason for such a discrepancy, we investigated the role of the T component of the excited field. We discovered that the algebraic radial decay factors of the fields are different. This is a clear indication that the T component is non-negligible, and it cannot be described by the N is equal to 1 T cylindrical leaky waves that would exist in a uniform structure. To further investigate the role of the T component, a generalized pencil of functions analysis is then performed. It can be seen that the extracted TM and T wave numbers are in excellent agreement which proves that we have a single cylindrical leaky mode having a hybrid TMT nature. As concerns the amplitudes, we may conclude that the relative importance of the T component is greatly increased around the broadside frequency. By theoretical deduction, we found that due to the azimuthal dependence of the field, coupling between the T and TM polarization is always presented by the ring curvature. Based on this, an approximate current model is derived, which consists of a profile function related to the current behavior inside the unit and a modulation function related to the cylindrical spreading of the waves along the antenna surface. And finally, the far electric field radiated by the surface current can be obtained by reciprocity. To validate the proposed models, Comparisons with full wave results for both the surface currents and the radiated far fields have been performed. As shown, the proposed model provides better accuracy than the traditional model with only the single TM wave, thus confirming the generality of the adopted approach. We believe this work sheds new light on the nature of the general class of radially periodic structures which are very interesting as they can provide high-gain broadside radiation with simple and planar structures. Thanks for watching. Please contact us for any follow-up questions.